Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts, and I wanted to show you a few Canva hacks that you can use to make your product photos look super professional. Upload and insert one of your own photos into your canvas, and then select it so that it's highlighted, and click the Edit Photo button. From this toolbar, click the Background Remover tool. As you can see, this is a feature that's only available for Canva Pro users. Give that a couple of seconds to think and it will fairly accurately remove the background from your photo. If you would like to do some more adjustments, you can click the slider button here and you can go in and erase parts of the photo that maybe it missed or you can restore different elements if it erased some things you didn't want it to. Now you've got an image with a transparent background and Canva has quite a few options for replacing that background. Over on the side menu, scroll down to the background option, and then you can search through their stock images, graphics, and textures to try out different things for behind your photo. So they've got lots of different elements that you can use. Some of them are photos, some of them are textures, some of them are just ombres. So you can get a really fun background for your photo that will make it pop a little bit more and give it some more interest other than a plain background or whatever background existed in the photo that you took. This is really great if you are selling products online and you don't have a super clean background or you want all of the backgrounds to be similar. If you choose one background like this light blue one to have behind all of your products, that will create consistency for your brand. Now I'm going to show you a few tricks to make this look like a professionally styled photo. First, we're going to create a faux sort of desk or table for this jar to be sitting on top of. So I'm just adding a shape to the canvas and I'm going to change it to white and then I'm going to put it behind my transparent background. So now you can see it's not very realistic looking, but it kind of looks like this jar is sitting on a table or a counter or something. Now is when we make it look realistic. I'm going to click on my transparent background photo and click the edit photo button. Now I'm going to create a realistic looking shadow. I'm going to go to the shadows tool and select drop shadow. And you can see it automatically adds a shadow to my photo, but it doesn't look quite how I want it to. I'm going to change the angle to 50, which will put the shadow directly below my object. So it kind of looks like the light is shining right down on it from above. And then I'm going to decrease the intensity of the shadow all the way down to 15. Finally, I'm going to up the blur to 35. And if you take a look at my photo, you can see that that has added a fairly realistic looking shadow to my jar. And that makes it look a little bit more like this jar is actually sitting on a surface. Now that's not bad. I could stop there, but I'm going to add two more elements that take this up just a little bit. First, I'm going to pretend that this is a glossy counter. So I'm going to create a reflection of this jar. So what I want to do is select it. I'm going to duplicate that and it may take a second to redo the background remover but it will do that for you. Now I'm going to take that second layer, that duplicated layer, and choose the flip tool and flip it vertically. So now that jar is upside down. I'm going to move it so that it is directly in line with the first jar and the bottoms are overlapping just a bit. Now while that layer is still selected, I'm going to go to my transparency tool and bump it all the way down to 10. And just like that, you can see that it now looks like this jar is reflected on a shiny surface. Once again, we can stop there, but I want to give you one more tip. I'm going to go to the Elements tab on the side toolbar, and I'm going to search Seashell. And I'm going to select Photos. And I want to make sure that the only photos that it gives me are cutouts only. And what this means is it will be a photo with a transparent background. Now I have a ton of options of realistic looking seashells that have no backgrounds. Most of these options are for pro users only, but you can limit your search to just free options if you are using the free version of Canva. 
I'm going to select this photo and I'm going to resize it so it sort of looks realistic in my photo. And then I'm going to do the same process as I did with the jar in order to create a reflection. Now I've got a very professional looking graphic of my project with a different background, shadows, reflection, and additional styling. Be sure to like this video if you learned something new. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And visit me on maddencrafts.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!